Okay, in this section we're going to talk about uh, logical data flows within Waltz. After you've searched your application using the search bar, you will see be presented with the application screen. Uh, then you will click on data flows. What you can see here is your authoritative stats and your inbound and your outbound flows and the registered data types if they are here. What you can see just here is you can see the upstream sources uh, and then you can see your, your data types in the middle and your downstream targets. So by upstream sources, we're referring to where does your application take the information from. In this instance, it's the application Grizzly Bear. And your downstream targets, where are you sending the information to? Um, if you want to send the information, uh, if you want to review the information in Excel, you can click here by selecting the export logical flows. Or alternatively, uh, you can view on the screen. What you can see here is we have different colors denoting uh, different values for the logical flows. The grey lines mean that there are no um, no flows that have been agreed uh, as, as the authoritativeness. When you see your, your green lines, you'll know that by your primary source, this indicates that it's a primary source that's being used. Uh, if you see an amber line, it will dictate that your uh, amber is for your secondary source. And then obviously, if you see red lines, that means it's a discouraged data source that you're using to be sent. Okay. So one of the key things is how do we update this information? You can click here uh, to do a single update. You can click here on edit. Again, you can see your information. What we can do just here is I can just click on, for instance, ostrich. If I want to add a new data type, for instance, maybe book, I can click here on book data, scroll down and click on apply. This, apply, this will be applied immediately. If I'm finished, I can just click on done. And I'll turn to it and go back in, click on edit. If I want to remove a data type, say for instance I have an unknown data type that my flows have been mapped to, or I have a, um, a deprecated data type that is no longer uh, recognized within the organization, I can click on ostrich, I can remove just here, click on book data, again we can click on apply. And exactly the same if we want to add a new down downstream target, we can search for an application. Add the application, then again we can search, we can add the data on, click on apply. And then when we're finished and we're happy we've got all of our data flows captured on the logical level, we can click here on done. Okay, one additional piece is if you want to um, upload uh, additional um, data flows in one go, you can click here on edit and the drop down and click on the bulk insert. What this will let you do is this will let you uh, download the Excel spreadsheet and it will let you um, send the file across. This will basically bulk load into your application. Again, when you've completed the, uh, an upload of the spreadsheet, you will click on Next and you will save the changes and then again click on Done.